According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. You're at a party when you notice a very attractive individual is looking your way. You're not the best at conversation starters and pickup lines. Deep down, you just wish the person you admire would make their way over to you. How can you grab their attention and attract them to do so? Well, there are a few ways. Here's how to attract someone without saying anything. Number one, show you're open to talking by using open body language. People approach others more easily if they simply look, well, approachable. Show you're open to dating them with a bit of open body language. Dr. Monica Moore, a psychologist at Weber University in St. Louis, has conducted research on the flirting techniques used in singles bars, shopping malls, and places young people go to meet each other. Author Nicholas Boothman writes in his book, How to Make Someone Fall in Love with You in 90 Minutes or Less. The author notes that psychologist Dr. Monica Moore found that it's not always the good looking who get approached the most, but the ones who signal their availability and confidence through basic flirting techniques, like eye contact and smiles. Just signaling your interest in someone gets you halfway there. Keep your chest and torso open and try not to cross your arms as much. Closed body language can give off the impression you aren't available or simply don't want to talk. So maintain confidence and open body language. And when you notice someone looking at you, don't shy away, simply respond with a smile. Number two, maintain good grooming and dress to impress. Dressing nice and being well-groomed is an easy way to get someone to notice you. It can be admirable to see someone very well put together and having great hygiene is an attractive quality in and of itself. Express who you are by wearing what makes you feel confident and happy. If you feel like you, you'll probably feel more comfortable and approachable to others. Number three, look into their eyes and maintain good eye contact. So your crush just looked your way and now you've met their gaze. Maintain good eye contact and don't be afraid to smile back. Harvard psychologist Zick Rubin conducted a study where he recorded how much time lovers would spend looking into each other's eyes. He found that individuals who were not in love looked at each other 30 to 60% of the time, while couples deeply in love stared into each other's eyes 75% of the time when talking. When someone else entered the room or interrupted them, they were much slower to turn away from their partner's gaze. So it's best to meet their gaze as opposed to turning away quickly. If you're both in a group discussion, meeting their eyes every now and then may key them into the idea that you find them attractive. When you do approach them, Try to look into their eyes 75% of the time when you're talking. The brain remembers the last time someone they loved stared at them in the same way. They will associate this stare with feelings of love. Why? Well, this lovely memory causes a release of phenylethylamine, which is known as a love drug. Phenylethylamine is released in the brain when someone falls in love. The chemical too mimics the brain chemistry of someone who is deeply in love. Number four, smile. Feel like smiling? Let those pearly whites show. A study published in the Bulletin of the Psychonomic Society found smiling might just make you more attractive. According to the study, women in the experiment who smiled 70% of the time were seen as more interpersonally attractive than a woman who seldom smiled. So remember to give a gentle smile when you do meet their eyes. Number five, join a club they're in and try activities they enjoy. So how else can you attract someone? Let's say you have a crush on a classmate. You notice they're part of the school band. Pick up some sheet music and get practicing on that tuba. Maybe they could teach you a few measures of their favorite piece. <laughs> the thing is, our brains are motivated to spend more time around those we like, so we might as well do so by engaging in a hobby with them. According to dating psychologist, Madeline Mason Rowntree, the reward system in our brains can increase our motivation to spend more time with whoever we like. If we enjoy being around them, why wouldn't we want to hang out with them more? she explains that you may just start to crave their presence. It's not uncommon for people to take up hobbies or enroll in activities that their crush is part of to be closer to them, even if they weren't initially into the hobby or activity itself before. Rowntree explains, it also gives you something else you can talk to them about, and perhaps it's a way to entice them to get closer to you. So once you discuss with them their hobbies and clubs, invite them to try your activities that you love as well. And number six, hang out with a group of friends. Research shows that people tend to find others more attractive when they're in groups rather than on their own. 
This idea is called the cheerleader effect and has been proven through tests by psychologists to be consistent. Researchers Edward Vall and Drew Walker of the University of California, San Diego conducted five experiments where subjects would rate people based on photographs of them. They found that subjects rated people more attractive when they were pictured in a group of the same gender compared to an individual photograph of someone pictured alone. As the study suggests, individual faces will seem more attractive when presented in a group because they'll appear more similar to the average group face, which is more attractive than group members' individual faces. So if you see a charming individual at that party, it might be worth it to get them to notice you first while you're chatting with a group of friends. Just make sure you're alone or approachable at one point so they have a better chance to approach you. And once they lock onto your eyes, don't shy away. Uncross your arms, give them a smile, and remember to wear deodorant when you do go out on that date. Because you will ask them out on a date, right? You have to talk to them at some point. We believe in you, you got this. So how will you attract someone before ever saying a word to them? A smile? A group of friends by your side? A shower? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe below and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And